Here is another sample probability calculation from a pedigree that shows X-linked inheritance. The question states, Anika is pregnant with her first child. Her paternal grandfather had hemophilia A. Her partner Ethan's maternal uncle also had hemophilia A. What is the probability their child will have hemophilia A? So let's start by drawing our pedigree. This is Anika and her partner is Ethan. Females are shown with circles and males are shown with squares. Anika is pregnant. We don't know the sex of the child and therefore it's shown with a diamond. Let's do Anika's family history first. This is her father and mother. And the question states that her paternal grandfather had hemophilia A. That means the grandfather on her dad's side. And he is colored in here with a black square because he shows the trait. That's the paternal grandfather. On Ethan's side, these are his parents, and it says his maternal uncle had hemophilia A. That means his uncle on his mom's side, and he shows the trait, so he's shown with a black square, and these are Ethan's grandparents. So let's remind ourselves about the inheritance pattern. Hemophilia A is X-linked recessive, and we can label the genotypes on Anika's paternal grandfather and Ethan's maternal uncle. We can also label the genotypes of Anika's father. Anika's father doesn't show the trait, so we know he's XY. The paternal grandfather cannot give the X to his son. He transferred the Y to his son, so that hemophilia A allele didn't pass on on that side. Let's look at Ethan's side. So we know that Ethan's maternal grandma was a carrier because she had a son who showed the trait. We don't know if Ethan's mom is a carrier or not, but we know Ethan's genotype because he doesn't show the trait. So we know that he is XY. Now, in order for the child to have hemophilia, it has to have one of two genotypes. It has to have an X with the hemophilia mutation and a Y, or it has to have two Xs with the hemophilia mutation. And this is because hemophilia A is X-linked recessive. But we can see when we look at these two individuals that the hemophilia A mutation hasn't been passed through these pedigrees. And there's no way that the child could have either of those two genotypes. And so the answer to this question is zero.